Time for a very special article then. The firstborn, height 110 centimeters, age unknown. According to certain Gnostic and apocryphal texts, before Adam, before Eve, there was the firstborn, God's first abortive attempt at creating a being in his own image. This entity was neither male nor female, dark nor light, a singular being that was both beautiful and terrible to behold. Disturbed by the power of his creation, God left it unfinished, banishing the firstborn to the abyss, forsaken and unloved. In its place, God started fresh, the slate wiped clean. He divided his next creation into two sexes, gave it intellect, reason, emotion, he gave it the gift of love, he gave it a soul. But something remained behind. On the spot where it first touched the mortal world, the firstborn left a taint so powerful that even God's expulsion couldn't keep it from breaking through into the mortal world to reclaim its birthright. In a remote desert in the Middle East, near the cradle of all civilization, the earth was wounded. The presence of the firstborn continued to fester eon after eon, breaking down the fabric of reality as human civilization flourished around it. The prophecy states that the firstborn will break through into our world several times. With each appearance, it will arrive disease, corruption and perversity, like an all-consuming wave, until seven mystics sacrifice themselves to drive it back into the abyss.